In today's section, let's discuss few problems that appeared in previous year patient papers of JEE mains from trigonometry topic. And here we have the first patient, the general solution of sin x minus 3 sin 2x plus sin 3x is equal to cos x minus 3 cos 2x plus cos 3x is. So the solution for this question is, And we can bring all the terms to the same side and write it as 2 sin 2x into cos x minus 3 sin 2x minus 2 cos 2x into cos x plus 3 cos 2x is equal to 0 because sin x plus sin 3x is 2 sin 2x into cos x. Cos x plus cos 3x is 2 sin cos 2x into cos x. Now let us group the terms and factorize this equation. So when we group the first two terms, we get sin 2x as a common factor. And within the brackets, we will have 2 cos x minus 3. And in the second group, we have cos 2x as a common factor. And we have 2 cos x plus 3. Sorry, it's minus 3. Is equal to 0. So 2 cos 3x. 2 cos x minus 3 into sin 2x minus cos 2x. Is equal to 0. So it's sin 2x is equal to cos 2x which implies 2x is equal to 2n pi plus or minus pi by 2 minus 2x. When we get the 2x to this side, we have 4x is equal to 2n pi plus or minus pi by 2. So we can write x as n pi by 2 plus or minus pi by 8. This is the general solution for this equation. The next question we have is the number of real solutions of tan inverse of root of x into x plus 1 plus sin inverse of root of x square plus x plus 1 is equal to pi by 2 is. So let us consider first the tan inverse function. Tan inverse of root of x into x plus 1 is defined when x into x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. So mark this as 1. Now let us consider sine inverse function. Sine inverse of root of x square plus x plus 1 is defined when x square plus x plus 1 lies between 0 and 1. Or this can also be written as x x square plus x is less than or equal to 0. Or x times x plus 1 is less than or equal to 0. Mark this as second equation. From 1 and 2. We get that x and 2 x plus 1 is equal to 0. So which implies x is equal to 0 and x is equal to minus 1. Therefore we have two solutions for this equation. So the number of solutions uh, 
is 2. The next question we have here is, what is the value of sine of cot inverse of x? The solution for this is, so let us first equate cot inverse of x to some angle theta, which implies x is equal to cot of x, cot of theta. We know that cosecant square theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta. So cosecant square theta, cosecant theta is equal to root of 1 plus in place of cot square theta we can substitute x square. So sine of theta is equal to 1 by root of 1 plus x square. So let's substitute in place of cot inverse of x. Sine of sine inverse of 1 by root of 1 plus x square. Because theta is equal to sine inverse of 1 by root of 1 plus x square. From this we get, so sine and sine inverse will get cancelled and we get 1 by root of 1 plus x square. So it's nothing but 1 plus x square whole to the power of minus half. This is the value of the given function sine of cot inverse of x. The fourth question we have here is secant square tan inverse of 2 plus cosecant square cot inverse of 3 is equal to. Let's equate tan inverse of 2 to some alpha and cot inverse of 3 to some beta. This implies tan alpha is equal to 2 and cot beta is equal to 3. Now let's rewrite the given equation as secant square alpha plus cosecant square cosecant square beta is equal to because in place of tan inverse 2 we can write alpha and in place of cot inverse of 3 we can write beta. So this can be written as 1 plus tan square alpha plus 1 plus cot square beta. So 1 plus 1 will give you 2 tan square alpha value of tan alpha is 2 so it's 2 square plus Value of cot beta is 3, so it's 3 square. So, altogether we get 2 plus 4 plus 9, which is 15. That's the value of the given expression.